Hey guys, welcome to another week of boot camp. Thanks for joining me. Uh, today, as always, we're going to start with a warm up. Uh, we'll start by describing the different movements we're doing within each of our two circuits. So, if we do an upper body, lower body, um, if you have some water, make sure it's uh, accessible and you have it close by. Make sure that you have free space around you. We'll be moving around. Uh, we don't want you to trip over anything. Make sure it's space overhead so you don't put your head if you're in a little basement. You're not hitting your head on the ceiling. Um, we are going to need um, a box or a ball or basically just a small object that you can use. Uh, we're going to be using this in our second circuit. So just have something handy. It could be a pillow. Anything you can put on the floor and touch your pillow. Uh, basically anything you have in your home. Uh, before we start, just ensure that you're going at your own pace. If you get any lightheadedness, dizziness, it's a good indication that you need a bit of a break. Um, so you don't have to go at the prescribed work or rest ratio. If you need a longer rest, by all means, take a longer rest. If you need a, a lesser work uh, ratio, so if you, if you want to cut your set off early because you feel lightheadedness, obviously that's a good sign to take a break, okay? Um, so make sure you listen to your body and go with whatever fitness level you're at, but at the same time, make sure you're pushing yourself a little bit. Um, again, make sure your water cools by. We're going to start with our warm up. I'm just going to move this down here. We're going to do a couple um, full body movements. We're just going to start with push ups. So, what we're going to do is a modified push up because we're not going um, to failure with our, our warm ups. We're just going to do six reps. We're going to go our knees. If you want, you can also go to the wall. We're going to the wall. What you want to do is put the hands inside the wall. Put your body close. Okay, that's the easiest version. Second easiest version is off our off our knees. We'll go from this position here. Back leg is straight. We're going to do six reps of knees all the way down. Nice full range of motion. One, two, three, all the way up. Four. Five and six. Good. From there, we're just going to go from a stationary lunge, alternating our left foot to our right foot, and switch feet as we go. We're going to do six reps on each leg. One, and then push back. Two, just in one spot. Three, four, so there's six on each leg, so I'll total five, six, seven, so you push back to start position. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, good, and twelve. Awesome. Bring it all the ground. We're gonna walk back and forth with our hips on the floor, chest up, and then we're gonna sink back, push our hips back onto our toes, stretch the shoulders, nice straight line here. Put your head between the shoulders. Push your hips back. We're going to drop our hips. Come forward again. Straight up. If you want to do deep breaths, put so your belly full there. And then push back. Sit up on your hands. Push your hips back. Head between your shoulders. Onto your toes. If you want, you can go back onto your um, heels if you have a flexibility to do so. And we'll do two more of these. So it's forward. Dropping your hips down. Straight up. And then again, push your hips back. We're going to nice and straight. And you step in front of you one more time. Hips down. Big belly full of air. And then push your hips back onto your toes, onto your heels if you can. Shoulders between, sorry, head between your shoulders. Arm is fully extended. And then just walk forward. Next, what we're going to do is on the floor again, push up position. We're going to bring our left, I'm going to go on the side here so you can see. You're going to bring your left foot towards your left hand by bending your knee, sweeping across the floor, turn, and then drop your foot. Okay? Again, push the position, bring your left foot forward, swing, drop your foot. Okay? Put in the front, and push like this. Good. Same feeling up and try to bring that foot closer and closer to your hand. Do one more on each side. One, two, three, 
four, five, one more, and six. Good. And stand up. We're just going to do a couple light like, sets. Uh, we're going to do jumping jacks and then seal jacks. We're going to do 20 of each, light on your toes. We're going to kick our feet out, arms to two. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. Right into the seal jacks, arms out. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Awesome. So grab some water if you have it close by. We're gonna get into our first circuit. I'll demo each movement. So that you're comfortable with the movement before we start. I'll let you know how many reps and how many sets you're doing. We're gonna do three rounds of this circuit here. So first exercise, standard push-up, uh, go with whatever variation you're comfortable with, but obviously you want to push yourself. You do eight cuts. So you can do standard push-up, high plank position here, hand shoulders apart, we're going to down, chest touches the floor, press back up again. You can modify it by going to the knees. Same thing, just like the floor, right back up again, or you can do it against the wall. We're going to do a deep up to that. The next um, movement are reverse flies. So, what we're going to do is two variations of this as well. First variation, more difficult one is off one foot, bend down, so you're hands at the hips, arms come down, you have to pull back, squeeze up the back, and then back down again. We're going to do bend up to that. If this is too easy, what you can do is grab two weights, two soup cans, two water bottles. If you, really, you don't need much weight because so you're smaller muscles, and we'll start off with that. Um, same movement, hinge at the hip, and hit the back. Check it almost parallel to the floor, and you're up, 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 and you're back down. You're going to do 10 reps of those. Um, you can also do that on both feet. If you are having a problem with stability and balance, you can do the same movement with two feet on the floor, okay? From there, we're going to be doing our uh, seal rows and jumping jacks again for 60 seconds. Okay? So we're going to start in 25 seconds. Start with the push ups, pick your variation. We're doing eight reps of the push ups, 10 reps of the reverse slides, and then 60 seconds of uh, the jumping jacks and the seal jacks. We're going to rotate every 10 reps. Okay? So we're going to start with the push ups. We have a 10 seconds. Eight reps, take your variation. Three, two, one, and then go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, last one, and eight. Good. We do our reverse slides. I'll do it from the side so you can see. Push your hips back. Up, up, one, two. The top. Three, four. I'm going to switch my five. I'm going to switch to five. Six. Seven. Eight. Six, nine. Last one. Yes, that's too easy. What you can do is hold two uh, dumbbells or two cans of water bottles. That's two. We're going to go right into our jumping jack steel rows. We're changing every 10 reps for 60 seconds. I'm just going to grab my stopwatch. And every 10 reps, we're going to switch. Three, two, one, and go. Jumping jacks. Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Steel jacks. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. One jumping jacks, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, seal jacks, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, 10, 9, 8, 
seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Last ten, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Awesome. Getting into our next round in 15 seconds. Back to our push ups. So we're going to switch the cardio station for this round. You're going to need your pillow. I'm going to need my yoga block. I'll go through the instructions for that as we get that station. Into our push ups. Three, two, one, and go. I'm going to go for my knees. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, and eight. Good. You know, into our reverse fives. Again, you can go from one foot, two foot. You can use water bottles or you can use weights. Three, two, one, and go. One, two, three. Try to squeeze those upper back muscles four at the top. Five, and switch feet. Six, seven, the arms should be parallel to the floor. Eight, nine, last one, and ten. Good. So for this round of our for our cardio stations, we're going to use our target here. We're just using a yoga block. What you're going to do is put your foot up, right foot up, so they a 90 degree angle here at your knee. We're doing toe touches. So start with your right foot up. And then you exchange your feet. Okay? From the side, like this. Lift it up. Just exchange your feet as I go. Just quick taps. We're going to do 60 seconds of that. Start in three, two, one. And right foot up and switch. That's it. If you want, you can use a higher surface. If you've got your knees up higher, you can use your arms. Get the arms involved. That posture should be nice and tall. Looking straight ahead. Grab those knees up. Off the arm, off the leg if you want. Nice, quick touches. We're 30 seconds in. Keep going. 20 more seconds. Drive those knees up. A little bit quicker. Quick touches. 10 seconds, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. Nice work. I'll give you a 30 second rest before our last circuit here. Again, we're going to switch the cardio station. We're going to be doing lunging windows. So as you're resting, you get ready for the circuit. I'll go through that movement. This will be your next. Uh, cardio station. So windmill, feet shoulder width apart. We're going to pivot our feet as we turn. Arms come straight out. What we're going to do is pivot to turn our right, our left foot with our right hand. Come up, pivot, touch our right foot with our left hand. And we're just going to go back and forth. We're going to do that for a minute, okay? We're going to start in 10 seconds, back with our push ups. Last round here. Three. Two, one, and go. Eight reps. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Last one. Eight. Nice. Great work. Into our reverse plies. Two feet, one foot up you. No weight. Soup can, water bottle up you. Three, two, one, and go. One, we're doing 10 reps. Two, pull all the way back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two more. Nine, last one, and 10. Good, nice work. All right, bring you into our windows for one minute. Nice wide feet. Okay, again, arms out. Pivot your foot, turn, and reach. Okay? Three, two, one, and go. 
So right hand to left foot, down to the hip. Two, make sure you're pivoting those three feet. Three, four, you can bend down a little bit. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, keep going. Try to keep that back straight. The lower back isn't rounding. Really twist the torso. The arms out halfway there. Good. Really twist. Get that bottom range of motion. Twist the torso, twist the hips. Good. Make sure you're pivoting on the feet. My feet don't stay flat. Keep going. 10 more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Good. Awesome work. You need a bit of rest. We're going to do one minute rest before our last stage in there. So it's going to be a bear crawl circuit. Bear crawls are great. Upper body, lower body, core, coordination exercise. So nice to finish the day with a full body movement. It takes some coordination, some core work, some strength and stability in the shoulders, strength and stability in the hips, quads, hamstrings. What we're going to do this is going to be time. So we're going to do 30 seconds of bear crawl. Uh, if you have a lot of space, you can go all the way forward for the full 30 seconds. If you're outside, if you're inside, Go as far as you can and come back. So um, I have enough space to do about three reps here going forward and three reps going back. So what I'm going to do is come up, step one, two, three, and then come back. One, two, three. I'm just going to repeat that for the full 30 seconds. You want to stay nice and straight in the lower back. Go to the side there. Lean at about 90 degree angle, arm straight, nice and low to the ground, nice and slow to control. Okay. For 30 seconds, we're going to do that. We're going to couple that with uh, jump ropes for 30 seconds. If you don't have jump ropes, no worries. Um, you can just mimic the same movement, okay? So I'll, I have skip rope, but I'm, I won't use it. I'll just mimic the same movement so you guys can see what it looks like, all right? So we're going to start in 10 seconds with the bear crawls for 30 seconds. Match with the skip jump rope for 30 seconds, okay? Three, two, one, and go. So nice and low to the floor. Step, opposite arm, opposite leg, back stays flat. We're going to do this for 30 seconds. Arms stay straight. Good. As many reps as you can do within that 30 seconds. Nice and slow and controlled. Nice and low to the ground. We'll shut on those abs. About five seconds left. Three, two, and one. Good. We're going to match that with jump rope for 30 seconds. And again, nice and light on your feet. It's fresh round, you don't have to go too quick. Just over 30 jumps for 30 seconds. That's the pace you want. If you want, you can throw on some boxer skips. I just go nice and light. Five seconds. Four, three, two, and one. Good. And rest 10 seconds and get back into our position for our air crawls. Five seconds. Three, two, one, and go. So again, nice and low to the ground. Arms straight, back flat, forward, forward, back, back. As much space as you have. Just sweep the floor with your lip, with your knees and your hands. Shouldn't be too high. Good, nice and low. Ten seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Right into our jump rope. Get quicker than that last set. A couple more reps from last time. Ten seconds. Three, 
three, two, and one. Good. Can do one more round. Give you 30 seconds break. Oh, sorry, 30 seconds break. Into position. Or our bear call. Three, two, one, and begin. 30 seconds. Nice and low to the ground. Going halfway there, a couple more reps. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Good. Jump rope we're going to do for a minute this time. Finish off here. Last circuit before our, our pull down. Three, two, one, and go. We're going for a longer pay, uh, time, so go at your own pace. We're going to go for a full minute. You can try out some different variations. we we'll go off one foot. Two feet if you want, so that's you. We'll pick the pace up a little bit. Ten more seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. We're going to end off with some shoulder rotations, palms facing down. And we'll backwards now, palms facing up. Good. We're going to let our shoulders hang. Push your butt back. Do semi circles and drop circles with your index fingers. Put your back flat. The opposite way, same thing. Circle with your index finger, back flat. We're going to stretch our legs out a little bit. So what we're going to do is go to the floor. I'm going to bring the camera angle down so you can see me here. Maybe it's too low. <laughs> so what we're going to do is bring one foot out, one foot in. Sorry, my, uh, I, um, I've been walking around barefoot all morning, so excuse my shoeless feet. One foot in, one foot out. Try to touch your toe. Take a deep breath in through your nose and exhale. Good. Again, in through the nose. Exhale through the nose. Switch sides. Same thing on this side. Reach through the toe. Take a deep breath into the nose. Big belly full of air. And then exhale. Again, into the nose. Big belly full of air. And exhale. Awesome. Keep that left leg back. Forward, lean back a bit so your foot is close to your heel. Big belly full of air into the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Good. Again into the nose. Big exhale to the mouth. Awesome. Switch sides. Right leg comes back. Left leg forward. Again, put your hands on your belly button. Just picture you're breathing in through the belly and up through your shoulders. The big belly full of air through the nose. And out through the mouth. Again, into the nose. Out through the mouth. Good. You're going to get into a squat position. So keep those apart. What we're going to go into is the deepest squat you can. So come down, shove your knees out so you can allow yourself more space in your hips. To drop down as low as you can. We're going to sit in this position with a couple of deep breaths. Try to work on getting lower and lower. You can push your knees out with your elbows. 
Big belly full of air. Breathe out. Try to sit a bit lower in this position again if you can. Closer to the ground. Back flat, breathe in through your nose, belly full of air. And exhale. Again, breathe in through your nose. Exhale. Okay. Keep your left hand and put it on the floor. Still while keeping your, your heels on the on the floor if you can, make sure you keep them flat. Take one hand down. Again, press into your elbow with or press into your knee with your elbow. Open up your shoulder. You can look up at your hand, breathe big belly full there. Into your nose and exhale. Good. One more. Big belly full there. Try, try opening your shoulder and your hips. Big belly full there. And exhale. Same thing on the other side. Our hand goes down. You can push out with that elbow. Your arm straight. Look up at your hand. Big belly full there into the nose. Exhale to the mouth. Again, shove that knee out. Big belly full there into the nose. And exhale to the mouth. Good. Back into the squat position. Keep your chest up right now. Okay. You can shift your weight around if you need to. Stand up nice and slow. Good. Then again, just push your hips back. Arms go down. Okay, feel your lower back pain. Stop stretching your okay. Down, stretch the hamstrings. Shift the weight towards the front of your toes. Try to go a bit lower. Again, if there's any back pain, stop stretch there. Sit back a bit. Good. Forward onto your toes. Feel the stretch more in your hamstrings. Glutes. There. Okay, slowly we're gonna come up. We're just gonna do some shoulder or sorry, some uh, uh, neck mobility. Look over our right shoulder, nice and slow. Nice and forward over our left shoulder. Again, if there's any pain, stop the stretch there. Over your right shoulder. Over your left shoulder. Over your right shoulder. Over your left shoulder. Good. Now we're just going to drop our, our uh, chin and we're going to circles nice and slow. Good. Shouldn't be any pain. Any circle. Right here, the right shoulder, left here, the left shoulder. Left here, the left shoulder. Left here, the left shoulder. Right here, to the right shoulder. Straight ahead, we're just going to look down towards our toes. Try to tuck that chin in a little bit. And up to the sky and back down towards your toes. And back up towards the sky. One more towards our toes. And then to the sky. Awesome. Do some shoulder rotations backwards. Shoulder shrug, small circles. And backwards, three, four. Five forwards. One, two, three, four. Awesome. Hope you guys had a great class. I uh, hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Get outside, get active, be well, and we'll see you next Thursday for our next weekend session.